Thank you for coming in, Lord Barker. Um, no, thank you for inviting me. So, Lord Barker, in your column in recently in the Times, you've said that we should really turn around the, the, the whole issue of the Greek debt crisis into something more positive. Can you explain I think more about what you think? In this issue, um, there does not seem to be um, a, a solution to the Greek debt crisis uh, in any way whatsoever, using the same thinking that uh, created the problem in the first place. So, um, throwing money at Greece is not really going to do anything but delay the inevitable. And I really believe that we should more look to Greece for wisdom than look to Northern Europe, the, um, the French and the Germans, for, for wisdom about how to deal with this um, financial crisis. Um, when one looks at Greek history, which goes back thousands of years, and indeed some of the, the world leaders that are in position now and controlling the earth, um, probably studied um, Greek literature and Greek mythology and Greek history while well, they were at uh, university. Or, you mean university? Um, you know, sorry, yes, uh, university. Um, and so, Given that that culture has evolved into what it is today, it suggests to me that that would be the result of thousands of years of development. So maybe the Greek model is the model that we should all follow. I mean, it is a sustainable society. It always has been. So, 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 you, so using that model, we, we can just turn the whole thing around and then say, well, Greek, Greece has the, the solution rather than the problem. Um, let the bloody thing collapse, let the, let the Greeks forget about the loan um, and go back to the drachma and then they can control their own currency. You know, I, 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 I really believe that that is the most honourable and sensible solution to this ridiculous problem of the euro. If, if a country like Greece, after all these um, thousands of years of development, are suddenly in a position where they can basically bring down the world's economy, then it just proves that the world, world's economy is not particularly a strong thing, you know, so... Um, maybe we should look at the lifestyle of the Greeks and then, um, and then maybe adopt you know, the, 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 their attitude to, to life, to work. And then we can all have a very nice time because in the way we're going at the moment, um, it's, not, it's not necessarily going to work, I don't, I don't think. You know? and, uh, but when you think about it, um, on the street level, um, Greek people really don't give a damn about, uh, uh, about the IMF or the Central European Bank. Because they are so, um, they are still connected with the, with their actual culture, and they have a very strong family um, um, environment still existing, which is slowly being deteriorated by by the amount of money that's been thrown at Greece. And um, so they, I think, they will survive um, very, very well, and probably stand up as a model for a sustainable society. You know, and, and money, money. Um, that does many things, and one of one particular thing it does, it seems to me, is it it isolates people, um, and, and uh, it, there is no need for a collaboration when there is a lot of money around, and and, and so with with Greece, um, Greece, Portugal, Spain, Italy, all of those southern Europe, European countries still have an in intact society that can survive through cooperation. They haven't lost it yet, so maybe this is a good time for uh, for, for us all to take a big deep breath, let them all go, and then let France and Germany and the UK and all those bloody greedy northern European countries get on with what they're doing and see who lasts the longest and uh, I, 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 I think that would, um, that would be quite interesting. Yes. So you're, you're saying that the whole Greek culture and attitude towards business and money and work is something that we should uh, take an example of? Yes, from. yes I am. That is, that is precisely what I'm saying. It's, um, I mean when one looks at the uh, the, the history of France and Germany, who seem to be the most vocal people in this issue. Um, their recent history, anyway, has been rather chaotic and rather violent as well. And um, when look, one looks at Greek history, it suffered at, at the hands of, of Germany. Um, very in living memory, I mean, it's quite frightening. I, I, I've spent some time on the island of Crete, and, and, and there, are, there, there are villages there that are actually inhabited by widows and no men at all, because all the men were completely um, were, were, were murdered by the by the Nazis in, or the Germans in in, in World War Two um, in reprisal attacks. Uh, every, every time the, the Cretan resistance party or army um, inflicted damage on the on the occupying German forces, which was very often. Um, the reprisal attacks were, were focused on small villages, killing all the men in, in, in villages, lining them up and shooting them. So, you know, for, 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 for the Greeks um, to, 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 to listen to a country like Germany dictating to them, once again, how, how they should um, conduct them, themselves must be quite um, stomach-churning, I would have thought. And, um, 
Well, let's face it, I mean, when one goes to Greece, and there's an awful lot of bloody Germans there, so it's a holiday destination, which means, by, um, by definition, that they would rather be there than Germany for, the, for at least two weeks anyway, or three weeks, and some of them have moved and then taken over. I mean, most of the roads in Crete are built by German companies, so a lot of money has been invested in, 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 in Greece by the, by, by, by the German banks, and so therefore it's in their interest to, uh, for, for the International Money Fund and the European Central Bank to, to give Greece more money so that it can pay the, the um, German banks back. So it seems like a very strange connection going on here, and rather suspicious. No, no, I, I, I think we should just let that bloody thing go. It's stupid. The euro was just such a stupid idea. And uh, let's get on with our lives, you know. It was fun then, and it could be again now. So, yeah, that, that's, that's it. I, I, I really must go. I, I've got a party to go to.